A high school in Alliston was on high alert this afternoon. A threat to the school forced it into lockdown. The security measure has since been lifted, but police are trying to piece together what happened. Let's head live now to CTV's Sean Greck with the latest. Sean. Well, Candace's parents are hugging their kids a little closer tonight after a very tense situation at Banting Memorial High School in Alliston late this afternoon. Ontario Provincial Police descended on Banting Memorial High School in Alliston, responding to reports of a threat. There was a bunch of cops on ladders searching like all of the roofs and stuff for guns. They were going through all of our bags and the garbage cans. It was pretty, it was pretty intense. Emergency. Initiate lockdown. Initiate lockdown. The school immediately put into lockdown around 1 o'clock. After we heard that someone was in the school, we were like, what are we going to do? Is this a drill? We wasn't sure what to do. So we were like sitting there quiet, but still scared. I heard running behind the wall. Nothing much. Um, didn't hear any gunshots, just yelling. Officers scoured the school looking for suspects. I have two males in custody and uh, we've located what was perceived to be the weapon. A weapon police now confirm was a pellet gun, which resembles a 357 handgun. Police say it was found on one of the two suspects. Both attend Banting Memorial, a frightening situation for parents trying to make contact with their kids. Immediately I wasn't that concerned until I texted her and didn't get a response for about 15-20 minutes. Then I started walking down here. And I was waiting on the side and then I saw a bunch of cop cars come through. I texted my son and asked him if he was okay. He said yes, we're on lockdown. Um, I said, give me a call, and he said, I can't, but I can text you with updates. And then this. The lockdown is not over. After more than an hour and a half, the lockdown was lifted, and the school was deemed safe shortly after 2.30 when classes are normally dismissed for the day. The Simcoe County District School Board says following the lockdown, it was business as usual. Students boarded their buses and other students were able to walk home. At this time, police say there's no word yet if charges will be laid. Reporting live, I'm Sean Greck. Candace, back to you.